a rare glimpse of rhinos. Drink it in, because poachers could rob you of this magnificent creature. That is an incredible sight. It's a black rhino, one of only a few thousand left in the world because of poaching, every one of them now critically endangered. Good girl. And this one is particularly precious. They've named her Goose, and she was found nearly dead after being shot through the foot by hunters. She's female, which means she could breed, and that puts her in an ultra special category. That was the bottom of a foot. Oh when my it came goodness. In. So literally every bone is broken in that foot. She had no sole, and this pink part is where there was a piece of bone protruding. So they've gone to extraordinary lengths to save her. She's been darted with tranquilizer. Her horn's already been shaved to deter more poachers. Is she going down? All right, that's fine. One, two. One, two. It takes a whole One, team of people to maneuver her into position. This bespoke cast is what's saving her foot and her life. And this is what the Kruger Park rangers and vets have been doing every few weeks for Goose for the past nine months. And they've drafted in an expert. But I suppose black rhino are special. Johan Marais spends his life saving endangered animals. She's sort of really critical to us. You know, the future is in these, these sorts of animals, is these breeding females. Elephant hide is used to cover the damaged foot. It's then sealed with fiberglass. And two student vets are monitoring Goose's breathing. They want to limit her anaesthetic to an hour, so they must work quickly. For me, this is something that will probably carry me for the rest of my life. Yeah. For them all, this is a labor of love. Of course, you know, things like this has never been done. <coughs> so it's quite important for me as a veterinarian to actually find out what is possible in a one or two ton animal and what is not. She's been under anaesthetic now for just over an hour. They're going to bring her round any minute now and then they'll go through this whole procedure again in about a month's time. Goose has survived because of the Kruger Park Rangers' refusal to let her die. It's been a very long road to get to this point. Huge numbers of people and hours and hours of groundbreaking care. But the Rangers hope she'll eventually give birth to more black rhino and that will help guarantee the survival of her species. Alex Crawford, Sky News, in Kruger Park, South Africa.